Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to Forest of Drizzling Rain. Previously on the Forest of Drizzling Rain, we invaded a museum, broke some windows and wrecked some stuff, and pissed off a very polite person who really liked their katanas. Oh, you're here. Hi. I'm quite fine, but... Onesan, are you alright spending your time every day in a place like this? I don't know, it's pretty cool, actually. Yes. I feel quite alright. Ah, uh, yes. Is it that kind of feeling? For you, Onesan, that's... Nothing. There's things that's better not to worry about. That kind of weird reads uh, a little bit weird. Nothing in particular. I just sometimes read a book that catches my attention and sleep. Do you like this place? This place is quiet, and the unpleasant kids from school don't come near here, so it's quite relaxed here. He's quite a meddlesome, carefree kind, and thick-headed pusher. Do you really not like him that much? He's somewhat dislikable. He's not from the village originally, so he brings a different atmosphere. In fact, I can't understand his atmosphere. Because he's an old man? I see. For a middle schooler, Mochizuki is an old man. That makes me feel even older. Oh. Besides, before this, it wasn't noisy in patrol cars, really. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to interpret it that last line. Like a black telephone pole, he's quite a gloomy, serious, fast, and a little strange person. Perhaps he's been here since old times. It also seems like he didn't talk at all back then either. Surely not different in age from you, Onesan. So in the first place, the people of this village don't really come here much. And because of managers like that, even less would ever come here. Certainly. Even if that's a fake sword, it's a little... Speaking of which, I've always thought that the manager was someone who belonged to this home. But that was actually you, wasn't it, Onesan? I really think he's probably related. My other theory is he's related to the demon, or we're both related. It's kind of awkward. If this is going to end up being a romance, and we're like cousins, you know, it's going to kind of get like that story-wise. Um. In the rain, going out is X. Yes. One of the cool touches, which I didn't really notice at first, was the... Because of all the pictures books being around, and the little notes we found. You remember I mentioned, like, oh, there's a lot of notes around here, and there's a lot of picture books. Is that actually makes sense now? Because they all belong to him, because he's a, uh... I don't know if he's a mute, I don't know if he can't talk, or if he just chooses not to. But obviously, he can only communicate in memos and picture books for now. Your investigation. How is it? Um, just a little more. There's still stuff I want to know about father and mother. Quickly, finish it. Go back. Look at him just staring. He's so disappointed. You didn't like my katana. It was very special and rare. You disappoint me. Suka held out some keys. These are... Spare keys. Use as you wish. Is that alright? Thank you. The shipping again. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, there's more pictures here. Do not go into the forest. Because the Kotoe Obake likes children. If you go into the forest alone, you will be eaten. Even if you are not alone and end up making a promise with the Kotori Obake, you and your friends will then have to do sad, painful things. Don't ever think that that monster doesn't exist. No matter how much adults say that doesn't exist, if you are a child, you will be eaten by the Kotori Obake. So you must absolutely never go into the forest. Here's a crayon drawing to illustrate my point. Huh, I guess that was kind of a pun? Eh, somewhat. Oh, shinies. So let's see here. In Azakawa Village, as things are mainly passed on through oral tradition, there is a few writings, and there is a tendency for events of the past to be forgotten and disappear. Among them, what has strongly remained is the tale of the Kotore Obake. I really, I've said that so many times. And just as a precaution, has finally been recorded in writing in recent years. Why is it that only this has remained in writing? It's because of incidents that occurred in the past in Asakwa village. It's said to be because in Asakawa village, these incidents are ones of children frequently disappearing in the past. Asakawa Village is a settlement surrounded by mountains on all sides, and the disappearance of children is also due to the mountainous region. The children who disappeared almost never returned to the village, and when they were found, were only found as corpses. As it occurred quite frequently, the paths going to one part of the mountainous region is now forbidden from anyone to enter. However, in recent years, due to the development of the village, there have recently been voices raised questioning the legend that made entry into the mountainous region forbidden. Don't go into the forest and mountains. You'll be captured and be forced to watch the worst movies you've ever seen. All four Transformers films back to back. Followed by the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. And just for a bonus, the third Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie on VHS. There was very little farming, and produce was provided by the village management. Furthermore, there are traces of trade in crystals in the past, but due to the reduction of the crystals, mining is not performed nowadays. Conveniently, now all these crystals are missing, we will most likely need them. These crystals were used as protective charms, since old times, and were mainly accessories given to children. Furthermore, there are many mysterious legends concerning these crystals, and they are also called Stones of Forgetfulness. But many aspects remain a mystery, like its origin, which do not remain in writing. Asakawa Village, which mainly has a history of passed down orally, has been on the course of losing its oral traditions and history as each generation passes. Conveniently right about now, as we're here. In the prefecture, Asakawa Village, it is said that from old times there was a popular spiritual dealer called Ogame-san. Considering Ogame-san, only a tiny amount of writing has been confirmed. The existence of Ogami-san can be seen in all parts of the country, but in this village, those who are called that seem to mainly perform prayers. Just in this village, only a human who satisfies a certain restrictive condition is acknowledged as the Ogami-san. Those who become Ogami-san are adults, and the amount of maturation this person has a tendency to be hidden. Nowadays, the political power of the Ogami-san is small compared to the past, and it's said that their disappearance is only a matter of time. Once again, conveniently, just as we arrive. Furthermore, the village management denies the existence of the Ogami-san, and an opposition can be seen between those who work to improve the village's image, and the elderly who looked at that with unease. 
don't have 7-Eleven, I don't think this village is going anywhere. Is this kind of mean? I mean, we're going around snooping stuff, reading the diaries. No wonder he's so annoyed. I mean, we, we did smash his window. Let's, let's count down. We smashed his window, burned his food, stole his stuff, sorted through all his private papers, read his diary. Man. Our cute grandchild. Quickly grow in good health. Even if you can't see it, we love you. My grandchild has gone along with that kid. That kid has also come to smile, coming in contact with my grandchild. Whenever this is a good thing, I wanted to have a talk about that. We merely offered a prayer that this would surely turn out to be something good. Today is the day those kids ended up making a promise. That kid still feels up to becoming a victim. There's nothing we can say. Although, however, our prayers have come to an end. It begins. My hand hurts. It might be about time that I should go back down. That's quite worrisome. Even if that's so, I can't just allow this pillow to degenerate more than this. A person from the village. However, he is a quite unpleasant government official. Honestly, you see, there are no visitors to this place, right? I think there's no meaning to keeping this place here. You would understand that the most, right? That this place is of no asset to the village. In order to develop this village, we need to clear up the mountain. The existence of this museum poses a little problem for that. The past is different from now, no shit. There have been no children going missing in recent years. So don't you think it's behind the times to be found by the old? <laughs> oh god. This Kotoe Obake and the Ogame-san reek of being bogus tales. Bogus. B what? Don't make me get my katana out. It's because you're like that, that people don't come to this place. What? A memo, huh? Really? Since it's like that when talking with you. You don't seem very accommodating to our negotiations. But in the village council, we just made a resolution to demolish this place. This is no place to spread around something unscientific. It makes things seem too creepy. So even if you can't find a next job, I don't know. Well, there's a bigger problem for you than that, right? You know, this is one of those things where it's like very... counterintuitive? Usually if a place has like a supernatural... culture going on, they hold on to it as tight as possible, because that's just tourist dollars. And if you want to make your town more distinct from the others, you want to invent some Bigfoot Godzilla legend thing, you know. Because that brings in money. You. Aren't you the young lady from Osakama-san's place? You can't just do that. Coming in here and staying around like that. So... Sakama-san would also support this proposal, too. Go die! You Tanuki old man! What is that? What a rude girl. This time, I'll tell complaint to that family. Go away. You don't even have a portrait. No one cares about you. But I think you're the one that's being rude. What? You? A face I've never seen before? 
I was the owner of this museum. I am the grandchild of Kanzaki. Grandchild? Relative Kanzaki. Yes, I am. As long as I am a relative, I have a say on the rights to this museum. So please don't just say whatever you please. A young girl like you is in honor. That just means I'll have to put on a spooky mask following the old legends and scare you off. Please give this estate to the village. It is beyond your powers. Of course, there is some outlook on a purchase. Please leave. Really now, because of this, what kind of coward? Things like that annoying legend is just crap. If you do not understand that, I'll be leaving for today. Yeah, you better stare as you walk out. I'm sorry for just saying things on my own. It wasn't my true intention, so don't worry, Tsukasan. However, like Sakama-chan, I just somehow got really angry. It's okay. Just be ready. He's gonna come back and do weird, spooky, scooby-doo shit. Thank you. Yes, don't worry. Dinner. Shall we eat? Yes, let's eat. Arf. Sugasan's <laughs> cooking. Sugasan's <laughs> cooking had the taste of ashes. But I was able to eat everything. <laughs> Next time I'll make something for him. I can sense someone not liking my cooking. I'm upset inside. That's right, the plate. Next gen. Returning plate to kitchen simulator. Thanks for the good meal. No problem. Why is it that this feels so nostalgic? I heard you didn't like my cooking. Ah, uh, it's nothing. No, oh, um, just that Rasuka-san to... Rasuka-kun! Are you there? That's me, Mochizuki. Officer Mochizuki? Mm, mochi. Please open. Is Sakuma there? Oh no, she's been taken to the damn forest. And so, Sakuma still has not come home, it seems. It looks like the rain will continue this evening. And like this, it would of course be quite dangerous. But that's right. She didn't once go outside of here. Sukukun, excuse me, but we'd like to search around in the mansion. So could you lend me the keys? Sorry about this. If it would be okay with you guys, I'd like for you all to also help. If anything happens, Report it to me. I'll also need to search. Don't do anything. No, I'll search. Because I'm worried. You can't. But you can't expect me to do that. Then... Don't go in the forest. Mm, I think I can do that. A protective charm. 
This is the necklace from that day. Speaking of which, the night glowstone is a protective charm in this village, isn't it? Thank you. Oh, bother. See anything yet? So I don't want to alert you, but uh, I'm hearing voices in my head. And uh, I think it means that I'm about to be captured by some kind of demon. You cops can handle that, right? Let's see, so cool. I definitely think he's related somehow. Maybe he was adopted. Village of nothingness. Oh, I see how this, this state works. So, they can't get to the forest for development because this mansion's in the way. And this mansion was probably built in the way specifically as a kind of, like, a toll booth, a guardian uh, shrine. So it's not really a mansion, it's more of, like, the guard post. Oh, Baba! Oh, nothing happened here. N O E S C A P E? No, s no. Ass cap? I don't, I don't think it's like that joke. I think they're pretty pissed. A power outage? It's staying right here. You know, you don't have to type that slow. I know you're supposed to be trying to scare me, but it's just kind of annoying. I mean, I get the point already. You want to kill me or fulfill some ancient curse and you have red text and stuff like that. You know, let's just get this over with. Wouldn't it be hilarious if this really did turn out to be a Scooby-Doo story? I think it would be like such a weird twist in the context of the games like these. And a sacred rigging put up behind the portrait to pour out the cow blood on it. It was me all along. Anyone here? Don't open. Don't open. The inside. It's because of the inside. Are you trying to unleash the demon? Asakama-chan? Uh, everyone is looking for you. So, will we go back? Oh, crap. I knew you were trouble. But wait! You know, if this is some kind of place where they sealed it, it makes me wonder why they didn't just put, like, a bolt lock in the place, you know, and... You know, actually, here's a better solution. Once you seal it, just bury the damn thing in cement. That solves your problem right there. No one's ever gonna get to it. 
time to go out into the forest with the drizzling rain. Oh, he's outside. Huh. There's a well back there, too. You know that was there. Large rock shining blue. Gravestones. It's a... It's a, I actually can't tell what you are. What are you? Are you a killer baby? No, you... Yeah, he's pretty pissed. Eh, this place is... Also, what the heck was that back there? For now, I'll need to get moving. That was probably one of the kids that was murdered. I guess it became a vengeful spirit under the control of the demon woman or whatever it is. So that's it for part two, A Forest of Drizzling Rain. Well, we pretty much have our backstory and plot set up now. And we've also entered into the Forest of Drizzling Rain. And it seems like we're definitely going to be dealing with some... I guess you could call them killer babies or something. Like I said, I think they're vengeful spirits of the kids. Who now work for the being that's there. Anyway, so thank you all for watching and stay tuned for Forest of Drizzling Rain Part 3.